I've heard that corn isn't good to eat. Why is that? So corn, uh, just like all the other grains out there, um, is it contains a lot of uh, anti-nutrients and corn also contains obviously high fructose corn syrup. Um, but none of these are ideal for our diet. We aren't adapted to them. They haven't been in our in our diet evolutionally for very long, maybe a few thousand years, which is not very long in terms of evolution. And so grains, corn and all that kind of stuff, we are not adapted for this. So I would stay away from it. A chickens, corn fed chickens, is because there? corn is not good for you. Chickens do not eat corn. So you're feeding chickens something that is not good for you to the chicken and the chicken isn't supposed to eat that either. Chickens are supposed to eat grub. Chicken are supposed to feed outside, you know, in the in the grasslands, uh, worms and whatever else they find. Uh, they're not supposed to eat corn. So if you give chickens corn, you're giving them an unnatural food, one that they're not adapted for, and that will make them sick. That will make them ill. And so, so the, that corn will then end up in their muscles, and then you eat them. And so the corn then ends up in you, which is not good for you. So it's, and the other thing I noticed the other day, I think it was at Waitrose, corn-fed chickens are more expensive than normal chickens. Don't buy, um, what is it called, um, battery cage chickens. You want minimum, you want is free range. So I know M&S and uh, Waitrose do free range chickens and Whole Foods. So you want the, with chickens, the most important, and eggs, the most important things is to stay away from battery caged. And with fish, especially like um, salmon, you want to stay away from farmed. You want wild. Earlier you said that grains should be avoided on the ketogenic diet, but I've heard that quinoa is okay. Is this accurate information? And why is it or why isn't it? So quinoa is low carb. So you can have a little bit of quinoa if you want some grains in your life. Uh, I've, I, I used to eat a quinoa um, years ago, many years ago, because I wanted a substitute for uh, rice, for chapatis, uh, for flour and all that kind of stuff, because I was looking for a substitute. So it's a very good substitute of those things. But in the end, you, you, you want to limit your intake of it and you also want to eventually, ideally, you want to cut it out. But if you can't cut it out, if you need your uh, flour replacement, if you need your rice replacement, if you need your pasta replacement, then quinoa is a very good replacement. Uh, do you agree with courgette as a replacement for spaghetti? Yeah, perfect. You, that, that's a great one because that's a vegetable, has very little carbs in it. Uh, so yeah, that's a good one, especially if you make it yourself. The only problem you may find if you buy store-bought ones is that they may have put chemicals on them and all uh, preservatives and all that kind of stuff. I've heard that you can get lentil pasta. Is that appropriate on the ketogenic diet? No, lentils are high in uh, carbs. Lentils are high also in uh, anti-nutrients. And so ideally, you want to stay away from lentils. If you if you had to get lentils, I'd swap them for quinoa. And stay away from couscous, by the way. Couscous is is the most anti keto food on the planet because couscous is even more uh, sugar laden than rice. It turns into sugar very quickly, very easily. So quinoa, not quinoa, um, couscous. I know is revered by the vegans. Let the vegans eat that. All right, leave the couscous to the vegans. Um, I was just, because you'd, you'd spoken about grains, I was just wondering about beans and pulses. So for example, what, what's your view on beans? So beans, they're not as bad as grains. Uh, there are some beans, I can't remember which ones there are, that are low carb. So you can have a small amount of those. But again, they're similar to quinoa in that um, you can, they're a good replacement for rice and all this other kind of stuff in your life at the beginning. So you can have some at the beginning, but you want to keep, you want to limit the intake and you want to slowly, if you can, taper off it. If you can't, then have a little bit, just like quinoa, have a little bit. But, but the end goal should be to eliminate 
or to keep it as low as possible.